is Shadow Freddy real? Well, of course he is, but how real is he? The common consensus is that this creature is a paranormal entity made entirely from agony. That also applies to RxQ as well, but is that really the case? Is Shadow Freddy a paranormal entity formed from human emotion, or is he a physical suit? What sparked this idea is when I saw Shadow Freddy in the FNAF movie as an actual physical animatronic. So I went back to the original games and wanted to see if it's possible that Shadow Freddy is indeed a physical suit. And with what I gathered, I think you would be surprised about the answer. Shadow Freddy first appears in FNAF 2 in the parts and service room. He doesn't do anything other than watch us, just like Endo 2 Paper Buddy and JJ. So what is the evidence that Shadow Freddy is a physical suit? Firstly, it has to do with his color scheme. He's purple. The reason I mentioned this is because no other shadow creature is purple. RxQ, Shadow BB, Shadow Puppet, and the Shadow Cupcakes are completely pitch black and not purple, with the exception of the teeth and eyes. Shadow Freddy being purple is distinct, and I know we got RxQ in the glitch minigame as being purple, but that could just be because we wouldn't be able to see RxQ in a black background. There's also RxQ in Follow Me and his toy figure being completely black. So Shadow Freddy being purple is exclusive to him. And another detail I noticed is that Shadow Freddy has colored wires in both FNAF 2 and 3. They're not purple or even black, it's actually colored like Golden Freddy. If Shadow Freddy is an entity like RxQ, why would he have actual colored wires? Another difference between them is that RxQ can teleport and glitch around, unlike Shadow Freddy who is seen just walking normally in the minigames. RxQ can also crash the game, while Shadow Freddy can't. He just stands there like the other easter eggs. And we know all of these guys are actual physical things. What also supports this idea is an unused mechanic in FNAF 2, where if you see Shadow Freddy or Endo 2 on the cameras, they would immediately run away and make a metallic sound. The secret animatronics weren't meant to be seen for long. That metal clanging noise, that is exclusive to this mechanic and appears nowhere else in this game, and also Shadow Freddy in parts and service. There it is again. If you want to know more on this mechanic and why it's not included, then I would recommend this video from It's Taken. The fact that Shadow Freddy would make the same metallic sound as Endo O2 shows that they both are physical animatronics. Shadow Freddy in FNAF 3 is also referred to as a crumpled Freddy suit in the Freddy Files, which is an odd detail because no one referred to it as that. This is in the same vein as the encyclopedia, where the names of Burn Trap and the Blob being not their actual canon names. And if that's the case, it's possible the owners of Fazbear's Fright were able to find the Shadow Freddy suit and bring it to the location. Maybe that suit was the first suit Phone Dude was telling us we would wear if they didn't find any actual animatronics. And if Shadow Freddy is indeed a real suit, then it could explain why he never appeared post FNAF 3, unlike RxQ. He most likely burned in the fire. I just want to make something clear. Of course I'm not saying that Shadow Freddy isn't a paranormal entity, that wouldn't make sense with the context of Follow Me, where he straight up disappears, and Nightmare, who is heavily implied to be Shadow Freddy. Shadow Freddy is technically still a paranormal creature. He is clearly haunted just like Endo O2 and JJ, but he's not haunted by a soul, but by agony, while still being an actual real animatronic. So if Shadow Freddy is actually a real suit, what is it, and where did it come from? I think the most likely answer is like in the movie. It could be an old Springlock suit that never made it to the stage. And my guess is that he's from the original Freddy's. He was probably moved to the new location to be used for parts. 
and then was transferred back when the new location closed. Speaking of the movie, perhaps in the sequel Shadow Freddy, now haunted by Maxine, will be transferred to the new location and start roaming the place, like in FNAF 2. But I'm just spitballing here. What do you think? Do you think Shadow Freddy is a real suit? I would like to hear it down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you on the flip side.